Israeli sadcaster Yes produced a new fascinating dramatic series that shows us a glimpse into the mostly unknown inner world of the ultra orthodox Jews of Jerusalem's Mea Sharim. Ayelet Zorer has spent the last decade in Hollywood where she starred in movies like Munich, Angels and Demons and most recently The Man of Steel. Zorer admits she couldn't work only in Hollywood because Israel is where the heart is. It's a big stretch because I had flown 15 hours just to be here. It's a little tinier, a little less red, but it's the same for me, you know. If you love a project and you support it, you do it in whichever way it works. It's mainly about people who fall in love in a situation that um, makes it hard for them to achieve any kind of relationship. This is not a story about people who are religious. It, it takes the that world is, and uses it as a metaphor because really what the story is about love. There's like, there's three main characters and each one deals with her own love story and uh, love life. So that's kind of what made it interesting for me. Michael Aloni, who is most popular for hosting the Israeli version of The Voice, admits the process of getting to his character was very fascinating. This series is very different because I think it's bringing to the screen in Israel some kind of sense of HBO feeling. Every episode is like a short film, a really close story that takes you, the character, from one point to the other and it's, it's really written very well. We're in Israel, everybody does everything. We can host The Voice, play a gay in a feature, which I did just recently and then a Hasidic uh, boy from the yeshiva and it's all working out. So we went on and really visited Masharim and stayed there for Shabbos and uh, you know uh, learned a little bit of Yiddish and all the little rules and uh, religious regulations that they have. They say prayers or make mitzvahs uh, that are just everyday to day life to them so to adopt that and to make it as my own like everyday to day life is a hard job but but very, very interesting one. Dikla Balkai, who produced Chisel, admits the show was challenging for her because it brought her into a world she knew very little about. It's a community that is very close to us, and at the same time, we don't really know what's going on there. And um, I think this series, it's just about people that actually live in this community, and you get to know these people, but the series you feel it's about you the conflicts are the same conflicts as we have and the stars of she Cell all admitted that the process of learning their characters took them to places they themselves didn't always knew existed in israel but that the most fascinating thing for them was that as much as they were curious about the orthodox world those religious jews that they met there were curious to learn about the secular world that was completely foreign to them too for Jane One, I'm Ron Jacobson at the Shisel premiere in Tel Aviv.